In this video, we're going to take a look at tiling textures a little bit. So for instance, this is just a really simple texture that I have applied to this model. And it's just extruded up into space a little bit like this. And you know, of course, if you had a better model, you wouldn't have these issues down here. This is just kind of give you an idea of what it is like this. So this is just a, this is a simple texture. It's a 1024 by 1024 texture. But the, but even when you look in pretty close, the lines are pretty sharp on here like this so it works pretty well but then once you have your texture you can come over here into this here's your material panel but right here your texture panels because we're working within cycles here and you see this scale button here you can change these typically in the x and y direction work the most common but it's going to put one instance of the texture over here like this if I change this to two it basically takes that texture and it applies it twice in the x direction. If I apply it twice in the y direction, it changes it here like this. All right. So let's just see what happens, what kind of effects you can get by really changing it. Let's do 20 in this direction. So there it's, well, you can hardly, so there it is. If you look up close, there they are. So this kind of makes it look like thick lines and thin lines. And if you make it 20 in this direction, and then it kind of gives you this pattern effect like this. All right, so these are kind of from my basic textures that are going to have available on my sci-fi animator.com website coming up in February. But now there's some more advanced type textures that I use. And these are like this here. Let's open up this previous one. Now this is same object. And it's also a 1024 by 1024 texture mapped onto here. Now let's go look at it. And let's see the difference. So now basic texture is let's even let's scale this thing down. Let's make this instead of one. Let's make this point two. And make it point two in this direction as well. So then really we start seeing the texture itself as what what's what's made of. So it's a bunch of grids that have these gradients between uh, this violet, pink, up to blue, and then they overlap them with alpha values like this. So it's still just a regular rectangular grid, but the colors really make a difference. This here, these grid marks are because of, I don't have smooth shading set. Let me smooth shade that. All right, so there those go like that. So now let's see the kind of things you can do in here. Let's put this back to one, like this. All right, so you get this kind of effect, which might be something useful. But you imagine a weave like on a couch. Maybe you're trying to texture a couch of some sort. And I've stuck with these kind of colors. Well, now let's crank these guys up to maybe 10 and 10 like that. Well, that's enough for like a mesh of some sort, maybe up to 20 and 20. And well, at a distance, it almost it starts looking like Let's do 28. Right. And there, now you start getting different effects. It almost starts looking like a fabric, right? Instead of just this solid blue surface. If you go looking close, it's what makes it is because it's all these subtly different type shades, you know, that really help bring this thing to life. And I'm only using a single light in the scene to light this. So that's really poor lighting, but it's kind of just to give you an idea, even with that kind of lighting which you can do. So even if you have, maybe I have a, a, a library of textures in my commercial library for sale, and maybe there's 25 or 50 textures in them. Usually I'll design them quite specialized so that when you bring them in and you tile them like this, they can do, you know, cut, create all kinds of effects just from a single texture. But all right, that kind of gives you an idea. There'll be a lot of examples coming up here in the near future. And I'm going to get that website up and running here pretty soon in February. I got to kick my eBay sales into gear. They're not really doing so good this month. And uh, all right, well, that's it for now. And I'll see you in the next video.